A warm welcome and good evening to Dr. Muhammad Yunus Yassin, President of Association of Science, Technology and Innovation, Mr. Anandan Shamugam, Project Director of Young Inventors Challenge 2020, Mr. Faizal Nobaja, Young Inventors Challenge Judging Advisor, Mr. Tan Cherhao, Young Inventors Challenge Chief Judge, All the Young Inventors Challenge 2020 Special Edition participants. We are here today to proudly announce the Platinum, Gold, Silver and Bronze category winners for Young Inventors Challenge 2020 Special Edition. Before we go any further, I would like to give some background information about the Young Inventors Challenge 2020 Special Edition. ASTI had launched Young Inventors Challenge YIC 2020 Special Edition during the Movement Control Order in March 2020 due to COVID-19 outbreak. In YIC Special Edition, the teams are required to invent a product or process that able to provide solution to achieve sustainable development goals and participants are required to innovate and produce a working prototype or a working scale model. Participants in previous year's competition were also required to submit a proposal and the shortlisted, shortlisted participants are then required to showcase their product to judges at the grand, grand final. However, as the organizers of the YIC, ASTI was deeply concerned with the outbreak of COVID-19 and at the same time, we also feel that under any circumstances, education and learning is something that cannot be postponed nor can it be stopped, especially for young people. In view of this as well as in, as in protecting the safety and well-being of all our national and international participants, we finally announced an optimal solution for YIC 2020. Hence, YIC 2020 Special Edition was developed and conducted through a submission of video-based inventions by participating teams. We have received a total of 357 applications from Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore, Brunei, Philippines, and India. 146 teams submitted proposals with a wide range of ideas related to the team. From there, we had shortlisted 115 teams to participate in the final competition via invention pitch video and project report submission. As of 15 September 2020, 95 teams had successfully submitted their invention pitch video and project report from seven countries, which was judged by a panel of 16 judges. We have shortlisted the top 20 teams for the online Viva session on 21st and 22nd November 2020. And today, we are going to announce the winners. Dear ladies and gentlemen, before announcing the winners, I would like to invite Mr. Anand Shamugam, Project Director of Young Inventors Challenge 2020, to say a few words. Hello everyone, a very good day to all and uh, welcome wishes to students, teachers, mentors, parents, funders and fellow friends. Well, uh, COVID has brought us to be online, otherwise we'll be uh, seeing each other in a grand finale and that's what we used to do, okay? First of all, I would like to thank our funders uh, foremost for their continuous support uh, despite their restricted uh, uh, funds. Okay, uh, Without them, uh, it's, it's very difficult for us to uh, uh, continue uh, growing and having such a big uh, event. This has been a very difficult year. Uh, I think everybody knows this, yet uh, here we are uh, with another final event of YIC. Well, this event started in 2012 and we have braved till now. So this year's event uh, has changed a lot of our norms, but it has not changed our determination to train and guide our young inventors or problem solvers. So thank you for participating Thank you for braving your way through and no worries. Okay? I hope those who do not win do not feel bad as every step you take towards SDG is a step towards the planet's betterment. I wish you all happy inventing and continue to strive. Best of luck. Thank you. Uh, 
back to you, uh, Patia. Thank you, Mr. Anandan Shamugam. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to broadcast the honorary speech video by YB Tuan Kairi Jamaluddin, Minister for the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for inviting me to speak at this Young Inventors Challenge 2020 Special Edition Virtual Prize Giving Ceremony. It gives me great pleasure to be here, albeit virtually, today. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers, the Association of Science, Technology and Innovation, ASTI, who have successfully organized the Young Inventors Challenge 2020 Special Edition. ASTI's range of programs and events are exactly what we need to empower STEM and I congratulate them on their continued efforts in raising the quality of STEM education in Malaysia. Our government's goal is not only to empower STI but also to encourage more students to be interested in science, technology, engineering and mathematics by exposing them to a variety of interactive and immersive learning experiences through exhibitions, workshops, forums, competitions and presentations, while at the same time encouraging their participation in entrepreneurship for the development of local technology-based businesses. The purpose of the Young Inventors Challenge is to build and encourage the creative and inventive capability of young Malaysians. I strongly believe that programs such as this are key in nurturing the values of innovation, especially amongst youths who will inherit this country. I understand that ASTI started this program in 2013 as a pilot and the response thus far has been amazing, growing at almost 100% year by year. This year's Young Investors Challenge 2020 Special Edition has seen participation from 95 teams from Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand, Singapore, and all of whom have presented their inventions to solve SDG issues in a video format. Personally, I'm very happy with how global this event has become and by the increased participation. It is a testament to the flourishing reputation of the event over the last few years. As you can see, the diverse tangents of the program allow the students to orient themselves not only into the intricacies of science and technology, but also into practical, real-life working tools like proper presentation skills, marketing, and even advertising. The theme anchors the students to understand global problems and inspires them to find common solutions as well. All these make for a well-rounded graduate of the future. Finally, I would like to state here that participation is more important than victory. I hope all these young people can use this opportunity to continue to develop Malaysia and the region as a leading innovative re region. Finally, I'd like to remind all of you that I'm very proud of all your efforts today. I believe all of you here today have substance in the heart and the mind. Congratulations to all the winners and all the very best to you. Thank you. Thank you, YB, for the wonderful speech. Dear ladies and gentlemen, this year's Young Inventors Challenge will not be possible without the support from our honorable funders. The YIC 2020 Special Edition was funded by Jack Tim Foundation, Yayasan Hasana, and Tenaga National Berhad. We would like to broadcast specially to all of you a special wishes video from some of our funders. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and warm greetings from Yaisan Hasana. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Asti for giving Hasana the opportunity to say a few words for YIC 2020 and also for creating the space for teachers and students to, to translate great ideas into action, especially in the new norm of working online as we face the current COVID-19 pandemic. 
over the past eight years, we at Asana, we've seen how much YIC has grown in terms of participation, geographic reach, as well as quality. I would like to congratulate everyone for being part of YIC. Each and every one of you are winners today. Raising knowledge and awareness of sustainable development goals, SDGs, is very important as each and every SDG goal impacts us in one way or another. Don't be disheartened if your team is not placed amongst those who receive medals and prizes. The very fact you had reached this far in the YSC challenge is in itself a huge accomplishment. Today is the start of greater things. I'm sure along the way, all of you have worked through abstracts, engage in design thinking, problem solving, working in teams, communicate, lead, collaborate, and, and perhaps some may have even gained new skills such as coding. All important 21st century skills that are required in, in an evolving world that we live in today. We see why I see as the first step for budding inventors like yourselves to go on and be great inventors and innovators of the future. Finally, allow me to again congratulate everyone and a special shout out to all the winners of YRC 2020. I wish you all the very best for the future ahead. Stay safe and thank you. Congrats for all the winners and everyone participated to this remarkable project even session was difficult. The STEM is such an important educational system which we need to keep developing. Even pandemic never can stop on our development, but oppositely, the science can stop the pandemic, which we believe. Good evening. My name is Masahito Hirai. I am the chairman of International Culture Exchange Committee of JACTIM. Jack Team was founded in 1983 with the objective of promoting economic relations in the area of international trading, commerce, industries, and investment, and as an ultimate goal becomes such a big bridge between Malaysia and Japan. Currently, Jack Team has about 600 members in order to further strengthening mutual understanding and the friendship between Malaysia and Japan. We also established the Jaktim Foundation in 1994, and the Jaktim Foundation has been supporting the Young Inventors Challenge since 2016, which is one of the best science education projects by Mr. Asti. Congrats on your development too. We hope you keep developing your science skills and also you keep developing our future. Thank you very much. We would like to broadcast another video on the judging panel's remarks on the participants' performance in general. Hi, uh, good day uh, to all of you. Uh, I would like to wish you uh, good luck and I also want to congratulate to all of you to uh, participate and uh, get selected for the final uh, uh, YIC uh, as a judge uh, for this uh, competition. Uh, there's a lot of challenge that we faced. Uh, most of you have done your project very well. Uh, and uh, you might lack here and there some of the project. You need to improve as well uh, for your project for the future uh, findings. Uh, overall, most of you done very well and I hope you will do better 
and uh, best in the future. Good luck to everyone. Thank you. Hi. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate all the teams who have actually presented here. Uh, definitely, uh, what I have observed was that the teams have actually really put a lot of effort into this final Viva sessions. Uh, they were much better. I mean, you have actually taken a lot of, uh, you have taken heed of all the advice that was given after, after your initial video presentations that you submitted. And your Viva session was definitely better than, better than expected. And uh, I'd like to wish, uh, I mean, there were teams you had, you did face challenges, for example, languages, language challenges. But uh, I mean, but you have, you have taken the effort to answer what we have actually, uh, we have requested. And uh, I mean, there are teams, I mean, uh, what, what we have observed is the, the teams that presented today, you have actually followed proper scientific methodologies. Okay, that, that has, that, that is very, that was very impressive and uh, I would like to wish you all the best for the finals and uh, and uh, do continue in your research because a lot of elements within your project has commercial viabilities thank you hi everyone uh, thank you for participating uh, participate in our young inventors challenge this year and congratulations to all the participants the, uh, attending our Young Inventors Challenge. Despite all the trouble, all the challenges that you overcome for this year for our Young Inventors Challenge, you guys did a great success job. Um, anyway, congrats to all the participants and thank you very much for joining us in YIC for this year. Thank you. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now, I would like to invite Mr. Tan Chir Hao, Young Inventors Challenge Jeep Chief Judge, to give his judging feedbacks. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, just before I start, uh, I want, would like to give a few special thanks uh, first to, the, uh, to my fellow committee members because uh, I'm very proud of them because uh, they upheld and ensured continuous education and learning. Uh, also, I uh, would like to give special thanks to the Secretariat of the YIC Special Edition 2020 for taking care of a lot of things in the background. Uh, secondly, uh, thirdly, I would like to thank all the teachers. Uh, this year is a bit special. Uh, normally, in the older YIC sessions, uh, we will get to meet you. We spend about two days with you, but this year it's a bit different. And uh, I may not have spent uh, time with all of you, but uh, I definitely spent time with the t uh, finally uh, the final twenty teams. Uh, all I can say is that uh, sometimes the teachers are more excited than the students. And uh, again, uh, thank you for your dedication and ensuring that the students. Uh, uh, innovate as they should. Uh, not forgetting, um, I would like to thank all the 357 teams for taking <clears throat> uh, this initiative, the call of action, and actually finally delivering uh, a final product. And uh, last of all, thank you to all my fellow judges, the 69 of you. Uh, I know this is not easy this year, uh, but thank you for judging uh, now I go into uh, the more important portion, which is the review of the judging. Uh, I would like to take a, a summary writing from one of my fellow judges, uh, Professor Dr. Chia. I think uh, his summary is pretty apt with uh, most of what the judges uh, mentioned. So here goes. Congratulations to all the winners of YSC 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, 2020 is a challenging year, especially with COVID-19 pandemic and also new norms, but this does not limit us to be active and stay relevant. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the YSC organizing team and sponsor for making the YSC 2020 special edition a reality with a new norms approach. This year, the contestant face a different approach in presenting their works or products. The contestant required to pre present virtually. 
This year's theme is Sustainable Development Goals, and majority of the products were designed based on the theme. The ideas products presented by the contestant range from the three R's, reuse, reduce, and recycle, concept to automation, remote and mobile apps development. I strongly believe many of the industries, companies out there are interested with the innovative products and ideas generated by the teams. To all the unsuccessful contestants, don't give up and keep up the good work. Remember this, winners never quit and quitters never win by Vince Lombardi. And now, the second section is, I would like to give a special mention to these three teams. Uh, this year is particularly hard and I understand that many teams uh, have not gone or did not get the chance to go down on the ground to validate some of their uh, data and their products. But these three teams did. They took the extra effort and they did. So the first team I would like to uh, speak about is the science development team from Pin Sanulok, Thailand, who has spent time with the tilapia farmers in the Nam River areas. The second team will be Prodigem team from Iligan City, Philippines, for taking your time to spend uh, your, your time with, with uh, poor and unconnected villages in Mindanao. And the third one is uh, from the Dog West team, uh, a team from Yogyakarta, Indonesia, uh, for your efforts and spending time with the search and rescue team in Yogyakarta. So to end everything, uh, I'd just like to take a little quote from uh, Star Wars Episode 3. In a dark place, we find ourselves and a little more knowledge lights our way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Tan. Dear ladies and gentlemen, before announcing the winners, I would like to invite Dr. Muhammad Yunus Yassin, President of Association of Science, Technology and Innovation, to give the thanking remark. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Yunus, uh, President of Association of Science, Technology and Innovation. Uh, I have the uh, what do you call it, duty of thanking everyone that was involved in this uh, Young Inventors Challenge. Uh, and I'll try to make it as short as possible because I'm sure you guys are already waiting to know who are the winners and, and whatnot. Right? So firstly, I'd like to thank uh, YB Kairi Jamaluddin, the Minister of uh, Science, Technology, Innovation, uh, for his uh, graciousness in giving us uh, his uh, uh, speech. Uh, very, very uh, motivating speech, I might add. Uh, then I'd like to uh, uh, thank all our funders, uh, Jack Team, who's been with us for quite some time now, uh, uh, reliable Jack Team, so to speak. And then Yaisa Hasana as well, who has funded us many times, and TNB, Tanaga National Bahad, for their continued support for the success of uh, Young Inventors Challenge, uh, especially this year, Young Inventors Session. Challenge special edition, and all the other minor funders that has also helped us who uh, prefer to remain anonymous. Uh, I would also like to thank our working group, uh, the the team that implemented this program, uh, led by Mr. Anandan for his uh, dedication to get make this happen. Uh, then uh, I'd like to thank uh, uh, the judges as well, especially. Uh, because we had about 70 judges, uh, and these are judges who are from academia, from industry, uh, they are entrepreneurs, even some of them are CEOs themselves, to give their time uh, for, the, for, for developing the future generation of inventors and maybe even the future leaders of uh, your respective countries. So we'd like to thank all the judges who took time off their professional, uh, uh, professional work, so to speak. Okay, and of course I cannot begin to thank, no any thank will justify, uh, any thank you note will justify the sacrifices that you guys have made, the, the inventors, the participants, and also the mentors, the teachers, right? Uh, I know it has not been easy, it has been challenging, this year has not been an easy year, so to speak, but as I say, uh, uh, 
a hardship is in a way a, one of the best ways to train future leaders so we would look at you guys as future leaders of your community and also your your country uh, that you have managed to complete this process from beginning to the end over a period of 6 months uh, without giving up uh, facing all the challenges that were laid on you uh, and succeeding and finishing so i'm quite confident that regardless of whether or not you win because i don't like this word win and lose right to me that's a meaningless term actually so regardless of whether or not you win the you got the prize or you didn't uh, i would consider you leaders and champions right uh, so don't ever forget that and be with us uh, we will be having all the other programs that will be coming your way we hope that you participate continue to participate and continue to learn regardless of any circumstances that may come your way right uh just a quick uh, announcement we will be sending out our surveys uh, uh soon so we hope that uh, uh, most of you will reply the surveys and let us know how we can improve it further uh, how we can uh, you know like for example this is of course the yc special edition so should we continue with the special edition next year because we do not know how the covid is going to be the covid pandemic and also the lockdown i mean i heard that the vaccines are coming up but we still not sure So let us know what do you think, how we can improve, or do you like this format? Do you want to continue this format, and why not? So we'll be sending out a survey. Uh, we are also planning to run another competition as a follow-up from this competition, right? It's uh, on entrepreneurship. So you guys have already now learned to be inventors and innovators. So the next step would be to become entrepreneurs. You know, turn this into a business plan. right and then uh, trying to get investors in and actually doing right so entrepreneurship is about actually doing what you have got a prototype now actually making that prototype work right so we want to run a competition which will involve trading as well so we want to send you a survey on that as well it will be in the survey so please let us know whether or not you want us to run it if you do want us to run it we'll definitely run it because as far as we are concerned we are your servants so to speak right whatever you want and you feel it's good for you or you think you learn a lot we will definitely uh, endure our best to run that particular program so don't forget that yeah. okay so finally uh, congratulations to all the participants uh, don't give up keep going uh, remember as uh, uh, alexander graham bell says if you did not succeed don't always look at so it's a closed door in a way it's a closed door don't always concentrate on the closed door look at the many other doors which are already open for you right so with that uh, thank you very much and uh, god bless thank you dr yunus dear ladies and gentlemen the most awaited time has finally arrived now we would like to announce the winners through a video presentation here we go The bronze
congratulations to the bronze award winners. The silver award winners, which is the seven teams with silver awards, will receive 750 ringgit each with digital certificates. Here are the video for the silver award winners. Congratulations to the winners. Next is the Gold Award winners. Two teams with Gold Awards will receive 1,500 ringgit each with digital certificates. Now I would like to play the video for the Gold Award winners. Now, the Platinum, Platinum Award goes to one team with Platinum Award which will receive 2,000 ringgit with digital certificates. Now, I would like to play the video of the Platinum Award. to all the winners. We will be contacting all the winners on the prize money disbursement in due time. Before I end, I would like to apologize if the video and audios are having technical problems. Thank you to Dr. Mama Yunus Yassin, Mr. Anandan Shanmugam, Mr. Faizal Nobata, Mr. Tan Chirhao, all Young Inventors Challenge 2020 Special Edition participants for joining us today. Thank you everyone and see you again.